Boys, FIFA 22 squad battles is broken. So let me tell you a little story. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am probably known best as Mr. Squad Battles. I finished first a bunch of times on FIFA 20, first a bunch of times on FIFA 21, and I finished top 200 every single week for the past two years. But then FIFA 22 was released, and I started getting my ass kicked on legendary squad battles. As you can see, I've got four losses on my record. Every single one of them is so far this week on legendary squad battles. Now, I imagine that's a similar story for a lot of people. A lot of you who are used to playing squad battles are getting your ass kicked by legendary. So me and my squad battles partner were bored of getting our asses kicked and we needed to make up some points. So we just said, why not, why not have a go on ultimate difficulty? What's the worst that can happen? We're already having a terrible week, so let's just do it. So we played ultimate difficulty. First game, we won 5-1 against this team. We was like, oh, that seemed a little bit easy, but the team was terrible. So, okay, we'll go into the next game. We won 5-0. This is only our second clean sheet all week. We haven't been able to keep them against Legendary. We go on Ultimate, and now we can keep one. But again, the team's not great. So we said, okay, we'll go into the next game. This team is a little bit better. It's 81 rated with 100 chemistry. And if you don't know how Ultimate works... Basically, when the players have full chem, that means their stats get boosted to 99 everything. That's why usually ultimate is very difficult, because the players get a huge stat boost to 99 everything. And just to demonstrate my point, this is a clip from one of the games against the full chem team on ultimate difficulty. So everyone on the pitch for them should have 99 every stat, which obviously includes 99 pace. But if you watch this clip here... I start making a run with Fredericks now. I'm in the middle of the pitch. Fredericks is outpacing everybody. And apparently, all of these players have got 99 pace. I'm not so sure. So we go into the final game. And this team is genuinely pretty good, right? It's in a 4-3-3-3. Difficult to break down. Good team, especially for this early on in the game. So he was just thinking, maybe we got lucky in the other games. There's no way we're going to beat this on Ultimate if everything's as it should be. We've lost to a lot worse teams than this this week. And then we beat these. It was 5-4. They did put up a good fight, but we beat them 5-4. So ultimately, lads, I'm pretty sure. Now, I can't say for an absolute fact, but I think if I had to guess, EA have messed up the legendary and ultimate difficulty. I think legendary is actually ultimate and ultimate is actually legendary. But when you play on ultimate, you're getting better points for an easier game. So listen, I, I was going to keep this to myself. I was kind of thinking about it like I could just keep this to myself and then next week get the easiest first in the world of my life. But I thought, nah, let's share it with the boys. I hope you guys can use this to get a good finish. Listen, if you trash at the game, you're not going to be able to jump on Ultimate and play it. But if you're that person who usually can beat Legendary pretty comfortably and you're struggling this week, try Ultimate. Just give it a try. I guarantee it works better for you than playing Legendary will. And EA, if you're listening to this, if you somehow find out about this, please, please, please fix your game. It's not even out yet and it's broken. Just, just, just fix it. Anyway, boys, that is going to do it from me. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. Be sure to drop a like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you boys again in the next one. Cheers, boys.